Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, Marine Knowledge Channel. This is your uh, Sailor Basha. So this video is also a continuation of our uh, Taihatsu generator decal. So now uh, in this video, I would try to give you some uh, information about how to change connecting rod bolts, how to remove old bolt and how to refit a new bolt. So what are the procedure that we need to follow that I will try to give. So we will go and check the video. So this is the controd uh, connecting rod that uh, we need to chain the bolt. So this uh, connecting rod uh, upper shell is really heavy. So we need two person to handle to transfer from its place to stand. Because uh, the bolt we need to change only by keeping the connecting rod in it stand so this is the stand for uh, keeping the connecting rod you can see a copper plate in the stand so that uh, the copper plate uh, won't damage the connecting rod body so that is the reason we keep uh, cut, uh, copper plate uh, inside the stand so you have to ensure uh, you can keep the connecting rod both the way either horizontal or uh, vertical that is not issue whichever comfortable for you you can do the same way so i prefer to open by keeping it in a horizontal manner so this is the lock nut so just all you need to do is uh, you just tighten the nut facing the connecting rod so for opening it is not so much necessary to tighten the uh, nut so now I am using the same uh, Allen key box spanner. So it got a Allen key type uh, head. So I use that. So main thing is you cannot use hammer. So by pipe by using a ratchet you can open it. It is, it is so easy to open. So just uh, use proper uh, allen key bolt hold it and you just give you a pull it will be opened just use a pipe do not hammer it just use your pipe using a pipe will help you so this uh, connecting rod bolt we have to change once in uh, 16,000 to 20,000 hours I said you right you don't need to use a hammer and all just a pipe is enough because it is not so tight so that's all you just need to open it you can uh, loosen it by torque wrench and open by hand the same way you do it for the other bolt also so the idea for uh, renewing this bolt is every 16,000 hours to 20,000 hours make a recommend to change the bolt the reason behind uh, the renewal of bolt is maker uh, say like uh, after this particular running hours say 16,000 hours to 20,000 hours the bolt the material tends to loses its elasticity property and it may loses its property and it may go for a failure so to avoid uh, all this failure we are renewing it between 16,000 to 20,000 hours so once you renew it you have to have a renewal history of the bolts so that it will be easy for tracking so this is the method to open the bolt so take the connecting rod to the connecting rod holding stand keep it ensure while keeping the connect connecting rod you are keeping it over the copper plate so that it don't get damage so I removed the one bolt the next bolt is waiting for uh, 
removal same way just uh, use proper uh, this thing so always uh, make sure you are not using hammer just use a pipe it will be very easy that's all it's already opened so <coughs> we opened both the bolt okay now we uh, open both the bolts just for uh, knowledge you can just have a look on the bolt whether it is okay or not that's all our job for uh, removing bolt is done so next we are going to renew the bolt as i said earlier you have to cross check with the part number and uh, you have to confirm whether it is a right part right bolt to use so we need to clean the thread part so since uh, we did uh, ndt test uh, die penetrant test we did so we are removing all those uh, penetrants so just clean the serrations just clean the thread part everything ensure uh, no nothing no dirt everything is cleaned so once it is cleaned just blow air use it uh, use a cloth to remove all the uh, wet thing so yes we clean the threaded portion so once the cleaning is done next thing we need to do is we have to as i said every time when we use the bolt you inspect the threads for any damage just check visually for any damage inspect it properly for both the side both the thread should be okay just check for the straightness straightness in the sense it's a new one just you can see so then uh, use molly coat spray on the threaded part spray on both the side the tapered part should go inside the connecting rod okay so both the end we sprayed uh, molly coat again uh, you have to fix it no need to uh, do a hammer tight just uh, tighten it with hand both the uh, bolts tighten with the hand hand tightening is enough for this so you do for uh, both the end both the bolts while tightening you just feel whether the bolt is going smooth or not it should not uh, go in a hardened way if it is going in a hardened way that means the thread is having some issue or uh, the thread is uh, damaged or some dirt has been get stuck in between the threads so the idea of uh, tightening by hand is to feel the thread goes smoothly or not so the same way we are tightening for the other side bolt also do not forget to use molly coat whenever you are uh, fixing any bolts molly coat has to be molly coat or any kind of uh, anti seizure is okay so both the bolts are uh, tightened by hand the next thing that we need to do is we have to tighten it by torque wrench so as i said this uh, bolt is uh, this connecting rod is very heavy so we need two person to handle it so next we are taking the corner rod to stand you have to keep it in stand and then only you have to tighten it so as i said earlier the bottom piece should be resting on a copper plate so that uh, the body of connecting rod don't get damage so we fix the connecting rod in between the stand so for tightening it you have to fix the means you have to hold the bolt between the stand firmly like it should not uh, 
shake while you are doing the tightening for opening uh, no need to hold the holding bolts like uh, that is not really very necessary if you tighten also not a issue but for uh, tightening the bolts the connecting rod should be properly in place it should not shake or something so i'll show you how to do that also it is very simple it is just like tightening a bolt when you are tightening the bolt the bolt other side will go hit against the connecting rod that means the connecting rod is uh, secured from moving when we do the tightening okay so now we are doing the tightening of that uh, securing thing so both the bottom end and uh, top and both the bolts we tighten it is very simple it is just like uh, tightening uh, nut and bolt that's all I'll show you how it uh, secures against the connecting rod okay we are done and you can see yeah, that's all this is how it secures so it the bolt holds the con rod so now we need to do the tightening with the help of torque wrench this bolt has a torque that we need to follow the value of torque so once the torque is fixed so for this uh, the torque is around 290 so i fix the torque and torque wrench so once the torque wrench is fixed again i have to tighten it so you should not uh, use hammer as i said earlier initial tightening should be with hand and the next tightening should be with the help of torque wrench that's all so once uh, that is done the job is done so this is how we have to remove a con rod bolt and renew with a new bolt okay our job is done So after watching this video, you must have got uh, some idea about uh, uh, how to uh, remove a bolt, connecting rod bolt and how to refit a new bolt. So every time I say please uh, subscribe our channel, share our channel with your uh, groups, friends and everyone so that our channel grows and don't uh, skip uh, videos during uh, the entire video session so that uh, you don't miss uh, some important information that may help you for attending orals or doing your job whatever so keep supporting and if you have any comment please put in comment box definitely i will reply you if not uh, put a message in my whatsapp number definitely i will respond to you keep supporting thanks for watching so next video i will try to uh, give you some information about how to take a cylinder liner calibration